Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to flow text around a shape and how to do some work with text wraps around regular objects and creating columns. So to get started we're actually going to select our image and I'm going to bring up my text wrap panel which is window and text wrap and I'm going to select this third option which if I mouse over it is a wrap around object shape and you can see I have this set up as a six point wrap um, you can type in any value that you want and that'll just increase the wrap So if I want it one pica I can increase that and my contour is going to be the same as clipping if at this point you're not kind of seeing this blue outline that indicates where your wrap is, you need to go up to Object, Clipping Path, Options, and you're going to make sure that your clipping path detects the edges. And I find it really helpful to preview this. And you can change the threshold to kind of um, dial in more specifically what you want. In some objects you might want to use invert. Just know that this is under the object clipping path menu and it's how you get your text wrap to know where that clipping path is. Hit OK. And we're going to leave this up, just move this to the side a bit. And I have some dummy text over here, just placeholder text. And you can see as soon as I bring that in it's going to wrap around that object. This little red plus indicates there's more text to be placed, so if I select that, it loads my cursor with the rest of my text, and I can click down, draw my next shape. Now over on this side, this arm kind of creates some nice two-column look here. I'm going to do the same thing over here but I'm going to type in two for my columns. And there you can see I've got now two columns. If I wanted to employ the same look as a wrap but on a, a square rectangle photo, just select it. I would choose the second option, wrap around a bounding box, put in my size. Notice I'm wrapping both the right and left sides and same thing as before I'll put my text in there let's say I want this to be at two columns so this brings up an interesting thing about flowing our text if I zoom in here you'll be able to see what I'm talking about this is my column gutter right here and this photo is encroaching on that so I have two options I can decrease the size of my photo or I can increase the size of my text box so that that gutter falls more in line with where that photo is. So that's just a matter of personal opinion, but always keep an eye on kind of where your text is falling in relation to a photo when you are flowing text around it. And this is a better option than kind of trying to measure out and making sure your columns are even. Here I know my columns are even, I know my photo isn't encroaching on my two columns. And that is how you flow text around a shape and create text wraps around your objects. 